Hey everyone, it's Tim here, and uh, today I'll be reviewing Mavas, uh, which is here, as you can see, a dedicated super VA designed to efficiently manage all your marketing tasks. Now, basically, what it is, it allows you to use all these super VAs to finish some jobs. Now, I'm going to do a full review, I'm going to show you everything about it. Before I do, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video in case you're interested. It redirects you to my website where you can find more info about the pricing, available upgrades, and also some extra bonuses if you pick this up through my link. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you and explain you what Mavis is all about. So uh, this is the dashboard that we're on right now. Uh, you got some quick links here that will make sense later, but yeah, the most easy part is click on this link. Let's get to work. So when you click on this button here, you get all these super VAs to, to call it so. But basically what this platform is, it's ChatGPT with a layer on top of it uh, that you can use and you can store all your information inside of Mavis. You can search for images on Mavis. You can search for videos on Mavis. You can write content with Mavis, etc. All inside one platform. And you can also create multiple workspaces. So for example, this is a workspace, but I can also say, I'm gonna add a new workspace here. I'm gonna call this demo and my subdomain is called demo. And I'm gonna say, okay, I can give this a logo as well. And I can work in another workspace right now inside of a demo. And here, let's go there. You can see I have a brand new, uh, basically a brand new account. I'm gonna skip this tutorial. And you can store, store all of your information inside this account. So basically, you can create different workspaces for different businesses. Now, when you want to go to work inside of your business, you click on let's go to work here. And then you choose what kind of work you like to do. So you have the super VA here. Uh, you got media. So the media is for images, videos, GIFs, etc. Email marketing ad creation, uh, landing pages. Uh, I'm gonna scroll through it so that you can see all the available options. If you like, you can pause the video because it's too much to mention here. Uh, but basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one. So let's say we're gonna choose landing page. I'm gonna click on let's work here. And this will open the prompt for me. And it says, hey, Tim Frida, I'm Mavis, your super VA, and I have expertise in landing pages too. How may I help you? So it starts here by using prompts pre- uh, loaded prompts. Now, here, as you can see here, you got different categories. So you got A-B testing, visual content guidance, storytelling elements, addressing object uh, objections. Uh, you can see here all different kind of uh, prompts here that you can use. So these are all categories that you can go through. And then on each one that you click here, you get the extra options in here. So for example, here, uh, when I click this one, it says craft uh, messaging that taps into the emotional needs of and desires of and then your target audience. So you can also say um, of online marketers, for example, and then it's going to write a specific part for that for your sales page. Now, I have to say that the thing I like less about this product are the prompts that come with many of us uh, because they're not finished yet. I said to the vendor, you know, uh, these prompts are not finished yet. I'm gonna show you why here. When I go to copywriting, for example, so ad creation or landing page creation was good, but when I go to these prompts here, for example, um, it says prompt like this. How can copywriters use A-B testing and other analytics to continuously refine and optimize their headlines and subject lines over time? So I can put this in here and then I'm gonna get advice from Mavos on how to do that. But actually, uh, I want to use Mavas to write an A-B different copy for me, if you understand what I'm saying. So that's also what I say. Similar for SEO, for example, when I go to the SEO option here, let's type, I want to search for SEO. Uh, and I want to write an SEO optimized article. What I expect here is SEO tools and analytics here that it says uh, write an, uh, a keyword optimized article about, and then my keywords, and a 500 word article, for example. But here it says, write about the emerging trends in SEO tools and analytics for 2023. So, you know, these prompts are uh, not very useful in my opinion, the way it is right now, unless you wanna learn about these subjects. 
I rather have prompts in here that says write a 500 word article, SEO article about subject ABC with the keywords, blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying, right? So a lot of these prompts are the way I just showed you. And they they promised me we are improving all these prompts. We're all work, working on them right now. So that's something that you need to take in consideration if you purchase this that the prompts are not all that exciting. But let's go back here to a uh, landing page, for example. So we had this conversation here. Now, what you can do inside of a conversation here is you can store the information here. Uh, you can copy this and paste it into another document, but you can also save this work to your workspace. So I'm gonna say save to work done. And now you can see I have a folder system in here. And as you can see, this is a brand new account. Do you see that? So I can say new folder and I'm going to say, for example, landing page copy. And now I'm going to create this folder and now I'm going to store this inside of this folder. And now this chat has been saved inside of that folder, this specific chat that I'm having right here. So Mavis helps you by organizing all of your chats that you're having. Now, another thing is you can start here when you go to the right top. You can say, I want to have a new conversation here. And then the conversation is being cleared here. So what you can do here is you can you, you can rename this conversation here. So I'm going to say, for example, uh, this is uh, SEO. I'm going to update this. And now I can also choose how I like to write specific things. So, uh, for example, I like to write wit witty or uh, formal or playful or um, nostalgic you know, urgent, you can select this and then it's going to write uh, what you select in here. So let's say I want to do informative because it's SEO. And then you can also choose the language in here. Uh, and all these languages that you're seeing right here are currently supported. So they're probably going to add multiple as well, but these are the ones that are supported right now. In this case, we're going to do English. And uh, now I'm going to click on new. And this will be my new conversation here. And you can store all of the information. I'm going to switch to another uh, account now to my default business in here, uh, because here I can show you in the work done, you can see all the folders that are created. So for example, uh, also images and videos about drones here, you see that these videos have been stored inside of this folder. And when you go back to the folder system, like emails, here are all the emails that are being stored. So when I click on this, I can view the email that I've been written with Mavis as you can see in here. So all the conversations are being stored as well. So these are all the chats that you have done with the chats. So here you can see these are all chats and you can rename all these uh, chats because now they're all titled as uh, chat one. Um, but here you can download or you can go to the specific chat. You can go back to a specific chat again and you can continue to that specific chat. Um, yeah. And again, from here, you can save this to your work or you can download this as well. You can start typing from here. You can use the prompts again, etc. So let's switch back to the demo here because this is an updated version. When I go to, let's go to work here. I can also go to media and I want to show you that as well uh, because here you can search for images here, images, videos, and GIF files. So let's say I want to search for images. You're working for a specific client and you're going to say, you know, uh, I want to have, uh, I'll always like dog training, uh, dog training, dog training videos here. And I'm going to search for dog training. And now you can see here, I'm getting all these kind of images about dogs. So let's say I like this one here. I can preview this by clicking on the plus button. Uh, I should be able to see them. No, with the images, you see them already. With the videos, you can preview them. And now you can store them in here to your folders. So I'm going to say, okay, dogs here dog folder, create this folder. And then I'm going to put this in this folder, I'm going to save this. And now this image has been saved. I can do the same thing. I can go here and I want to have videos as well. I can say I want to have a dog video about dogs here. And now it's going to search for videos about dogs here. So now when I click on this plus, you can see it's shown me that specific video. And it, I can click on more here and it will load more videos for me. And these are all royalty free videos. So here, let's select another one. I like this one. Very cool. I can say click on the plus here. I'm going to add this to my dogs folder 
going to hit save. And now I can go to this folder again uh, and I can download all of my stuff here. So I can say, I'm going to download this and I'm going to download this or delete or rename this. So you can basically work with different uh, workspaces here. And inside of these workspaces, you have your work done with all of your folders. And in each workspace, you have all of your conversations listed in here as well. So that's how it works. You simply click on let's go to work and you choose one of these categories. So if you want to have something about Facebook here, you select the Facebook VA and this VA helps you with your Facebook task. You can type your own prompts as well. So write a Facebook, uh, write a Facebook uh, post about, um, well, my seven day dog training here. And oh, this is a double I here. I'm going to hit enter and uh, train. Now let's see what he comes up with and what he's going to write about this uh, seven day dog train. <laughs> and there you go here. Exciting news. Just completed seven day dog training program here. Uh, so it messes up a little bit here of the uh, emojis. So I'm going to tell them at well that uh, that these should be supported as well. I don't know if you pay these on Facebook if they will work. Let me check that actually. So let's say I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this. I go to my Facebook here. Uh, boom, boom, boom. One second. Yeah, there we are. Uh, let me set this to only me. Done. Post. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so this is not good supported here. We need to, uh, I'm going to inform them about this. So uh, let's go back here. But this is basically, it comes with hashtags, etc. And again, you can store this conversation here. You can say, I'm going to save this to work done. I'm going to post this to docs as well. So I have everything about that docs in that specific folder. Now, then the next thing here is it also comes with a chatbot here. So you can create a chatbot. Uh, that you can add to your website. You can give this chatbot a name. So I'm going to call this demo bot here. And then you can choose your language. You can see this is the image of the bot that will be used uh, actually here. As you can see here, it will be used. This is the image. Uh, you can upload your own profile picture here that will be used in here. Uh, you can select the language again, uh, the same language that we just saw. You can change the theme color of the chatbot. So if you like to have this blue, you can change that. You can just select the background. So you have a few backgrounds in here. If you like to have it something like this, you can do that. Or when you click on the plus, you can upload your own screenshots, your own backgrounds. Uh, and then you need to select your autoresponder here uh, that you can connect here with your integrations. And then you need to select your list. And then you can add this to your website. Now, keep in mind that this is not a smart bot. This is just a chat GPT bot on your website that will be able to answer general questions. So not specific about your business. This is not a bot that you can train. This is just a chat GPT bot uh, that you can use as a lead generator because it will ask for your email address. And I cannot show you that this right now because if your autoresponder is not supported, you cannot use this chatbot. You need to keep that in mind. So that's within the integrations part in here. Uh, these are all the autoresponders that are supported. So if your autoresponder is in here, then you don't need to worry. Uh, then you can simply use the chatbot system on your website by adding the code to your website. Also here, these are supported. Webinar, this is supported. So these are the supported uh, tools that can be connected. Then one more thing, what I want to say to you is that it comes with credits. So as you can see here, for every 50 characters, you are using one credit. One credit is 50 characters. Now let's say you've used all the 10K characters. Uh, this comes with the front end uh, 10K, if I'm correct. Then what you can do is when you go to content provider here, you can go to recharge here. So you can purchase new credits here. So 10K, 10K extra credits is $10 or uh, 20K for 18 or 20K uh, for 18 here, it's the same. Another thing that you can do here is you can connect your OpenAI key here, uh, which will be way cheaper than when you purchase credits from Recharts. And this is very easy, simply type on Google OpenAI key and you can create an account and add your own key. And this is so crazy cheap uh, that you can add that 
to your account. And that's basically what Mavis is all about. Um, it stores information. Prompts really needs to get upgraded. They're working on it. Uh, and again, if you're interested, there is a link in the description below. Go check it out. Uh, pricing, available upgrades. Also, that you can see what's included in the front end and the available upgrades. Uh, and yeah, that's it for today. So if this video was useful, please hit a thumbs up. Uh, I would appreciate that. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Hey, talk soon. Cheers.